and welcome to Around the Verse. I'm Sandy Gardner. And I'm Chris Rollins. This past weekend saw the live release of Star Citizen Alpha 3.2 into the Persistent Universe, and players have been busy digging into the new content, features, and mechanics. Yeah, mining is, of course, a big mechanic introduced in 3.2, and plenty of aspiring miners have been getting to grips with the system for themselves. The gameplay is intuitive, but successful extraction isn't as simple as aiming at a rock and blasting away. And some players have found out the hard way that a red-hot mining laser is potentially dangerous. Oh yeah, safety first. The new group and uh, party systems are making an early splash as well. And we've seen groups of up to 50 backers gathering together to see what 3.2 has to offer as a shared experience, which is very cool. Very cool. This release also brings several new weapons and armor sets to the PU and players haven't been shy about trying them out. Oh no, they haven't. <laughs> that Karstak sniper rifle is particularly nasty. Uh, we've also seen newly fireable ships in action with backers taking the Hurricanes, Blades, 600 Eyes, and Ajayas Eclipses uh, for spins all over Stanton. With everything for 3.2 finished, the devs are looking ahead to 3.3 and beyond. Yes, uh, we'll be making improvements with the usual small patches and hotfixes along the way, but most of our design and development efforts are now focused on what's coming next. There will be even more armor and clothing for your character in 3.3, with work continuing on the RSI Odyssey flight suit and several new sets, like this Hurston security armor. A continuing focus is expanding mission content in the PU, which will prove integral in bringing Hurston and other new locations to life as tangible, engaging places. Here we see a new objective, which involves destroying a series of satellites. These satellites were first uh, the first things built using the ship tech that allows props to have components like shields. This mission illustrates the ability to create a full suite of modular objectives that can easily be combined to create complex missions and contract types. Yes, and once FPS AI is fully integrated, there will be even more options for contracts, including some that will have you hunting down and engaging with dangerous enemies. Oh, yes. FPS AI was originally planned to release with 3.2, but we decided to push it back to make sure we really had it where we wanted it. Such is the nature of game development. It is. It's important to not only get these things done, but to get them done right. And AI is particularly important as it's integral to Squadron 42 as well as Star Citizen. Yes, that is definitely correct. And you can see on the roadmap that the team is pretty far along. Yes, they are. And taking a look at some of the other core tech plan for upcoming releases, bind culling and object container streaming are well on their way to completion as well. Yeah, these foundational systems are vital to the huge amount of content we have planned for the next PU update. They'll also make it much easier for us to implement content on the scale we want going forward. So it's exciting to see them this far along. Yes, it is. Well, that's all for us this week. We hope you're enjoying Alpha 3.2 so far. Yes, most definitely. We hope you are. And remember to keep sharing your exploits on Spectrum. We love to see all the drama, excitement, and comedy that comes from your adventures. Yes, we do. And until next time, we will see you around, around the verse. verse. Thanks for watching. For the latest and greatest in Star Citizen and Squadron 42, you can subscribe to our channel or you can check out some of the other shows. And you can also head to our website at www.robertsspaceindustries.com. Thank you very much for watching.